Professor Langwood, you have tested bimodal neuromodulation for the treatment of tinnitus. In uh, doing so, tone and tongue stimulation were combined. In a clinical randomized study, they were thus able to reduce uh, tinnitus symptoms in the test subjects. Before talking about uh, the study, where did the idea of bimodal um, neurostimulation come from? How did the research community come up with the idea of this procedure? Um, that's a very good question. And uh, we know that we can influence the brain best by bimodal stimulation. And the idea goes back to Donald Hepp, who already found out that um, if two neurons are stimulated, um, you can create co um, connections between these neurons if they are stimulated at the same time. So neurons that fire together, wire together. So we know it's one of the fundamental principles of neuroplasticity that um, different stimulation at the same time might have a much more profound effect on neuroplasticity, on um, inducing alterations in the brain. And that's exactly what we want to do um, in the treatment of tinnitus. We want to normalize these um, abnormal um, changes in the brain that are responsible for the tinnitus. Um, so why, why did we use sound and tongue stimulation? So the reason is that um, the input from the ears and the input from the face come together very early in the brain. So there's lots of connections between the facial nerves, between the trigeminal nerve and the um, auditory system. Many tinnitus patients know this because they experience a change of the tinnitus as soon as they move their head, as soon as they touch the skin um, in, um, in the face. So we wanted to use this connection. And so the idea came up to combine auditory stimulation, sound stimulation together with stimulation of the tongue. And the tongue was used because in the tongue we have lots of nerve endings. So the, the tongue is very intensely innervated. So it's very effective to um, stimulate the tongue. And so um, the company Neuromod in, in Dublin came up with the idea to combine auditory stimulation, sound stimulation, with electrical stimulation of the tongue in order to induce a therapeutic effect in tinnitus. Mm -hmm. Who was involved in the study and uh, what was the study design? So the, the study was performed in two centers, in, in Dublin, in Ireland, and in Regensburg, in, in Germany, and the study design consisted um, of a three-arm study. So altogether 300 patients uh, were investigated. They were randomized into three groups. So um, all the three groups received um, a bimodal stimulation, but with some uh, differences in the stimulation parameters. Mm -hmm. um, so the first group received high frequency sounds together with tongue stimulation, which was exactly synchronous to the sound. In the second group, there were high frequency sounds um, combined with electrical stimuli of the tongue, but there was no complete synchronicity between the sound and the electrical stimulation. And in the third group, the sounds were rather in the low frequency range, and um, there was lots of delay between the electrical stimulation and the sound stimulation. So in all three groups, bimodal stimulation, but um, the frequency of the sound was, was different and the synchronicity so whether the electrical stimulation was exactly at the same time like the sound. Mm -hmm. And um, what was not expected was that all three groups had quite a good benefit from, from the treatment. So after 12 weeks, all three groups demonstrated a good benefit of, um, of, of this um, uh, bimodal uh, stimulation. But after 12 weeks of uh, 12 months of observation, there was a clear difference between the three groups. So the first group, which had high frequency tones with synchronous electrical stimulation, in this group, you had an ongoing improvement after 12 months. In the other two groups, over the 12 months, the um, treatment effect disappeared slowly again again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the effect um, was with the first uh, design the best. Over so after 12 weeks, there was a good effect for all three designs, but over the follow-up uh, period, the effect was best for the first group. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Um, <clears throat> can the therapy be used for all um, kinds of tinnitus? Um, did you detect any side effects or did the tinnitus um, even get worse 
during the procedure? Yeah. So within the study, um, most forms of tinnitus were included. For sure, some specific subforms of tinnitus were excluded in the in the study. And um, we also investigated specific subgroups with more and less hearing loss, with more and less hyperacusis. Um, maybe we could find that patients with hyperacusis have a specific, specific benefit from, uh, from this treatment. Um, the side effects were small, so some, some patients reported some transient worsening of the tinnitus, but this was transient in practically all cases. And in some cases also ulcerations of the um, mucosa of the of the mouth was uh, reported also these were transient side effects in all cases there were no severe and longer lasting um, problems in the in, in the uh, mucosa yeah. are there already um, study results existing with a comparison group um, or do you plan to do so yeah, at the moment, the results of the first study with more than 300 patients have been published, but the uh, company has already performed a second study with more than 200 patients. And in the second study, there was one group who received six weeks of auditory stimulation alone. Mm -hmm. And after six weeks, uh, the tongue stimulation was added to the auditory stimulation. And um, this was very impressive because auditory stimulation alone had some small effects on the tinnitus annoyance. But as soon as the bimodal stimulation was added, there was a much better um, effect of this treatment. So this is kind of a control condition that adding the, bi the electrical stimulation to the sound stimulation produces a clear improvement of the tinnitus. Um, uh, well, one question um, which uh, most patients might be uh, of high interest. Um, uh, talking about time to market, when could the therapy uh, be available for patients on the market? Yeah, so the, the therapy is already available in very selected uh, places. So the first place was Dublin in the uh, in a tinnitus clinic in Dublin. Um, in Germany, um, the treatment got available in Hanover in the tinnitus clinic. And there are some more places now um, that offer the treatment. At the moment, there's no coverage by the insurance companies, but for sure the company works on that in order to get approval so that uh, the student also could be covered by the insurance companies. Okay. Um, do you think that uh, the, the, the therapy um, could be included in the German um, S3 guidelines? Does this make sense at all? Yeah, so the um, current treatment guidelines are um, updated at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, the study will be mentioned as um, a promising new approach. For sure, it's not yet an established approach. So we need more studies, we need clinical experience. So we, we have to put it in a relationship, for example, with cognitive behavioral therapy. So a treatment where we know that it's um, effective in reducing clinical severity, but for cognitive behavioral therapy, we have many studies who have uh, demonstrated a benefit with, uh, with several thousand patients. So at the moment, this is not yet the stage for the bimodal stimulation. So I think it will be mentioned in the, in the guidelines, but it's not yet um, ready as a routine treatment for everybody. Okay, I understand. Well, thanks a lot for the interview. Thank you.